I took the first 150 races of some of the most successful F1 drivers of all time and compared it to each other. I did change all of the points to the current F1 scoring system to have a more accurate comparison. I went over more than 1,500 races and the result was pretty shocking. As you can see, it's actually 12 drivers, but Fangio only had 51 starts and Jackie Stewart had 99 race starts, so that's also totaling 150. The only other driver that didn't reach 150 starts is Jim Clark, but we will get to that in a minute. This number is the race count. I made these driver cards to go over all of the drivers stats to show you how much these drivers actually achieve. I will start with the driver with the fewest wins and make my way up to the highest wins. Keep in mind this is the 12 F1 drivers with the most wins so they are insanely talented. Their stats just look a bit different because they're from different eras of F1. So starting with Fangio, he is one of the best if not the best ever F1 driver considering what he accomplished in the 1950s. Fangio is a 5 time world champion with 48 front row starts from a 51 race start. He got 24 wins, 35 podiums, 29 poles and 14 DNFs and 245 points. That points isn't the 2022 point scoring system, it's the points they used at the time. Like you can see on the graph, he would have scored much more points if they used the current F1 scoring system. He won 47% of all of his races. Let's move on to Jim Clark. He's a two time world champion with 72 race starts, 25 wins. 32 podiums, 33 pole positions, he managed to score 482 points and got 29 DNF. Like you can see with the 2022 point scoring system, he's competing at the top. Moving on to Nicky Lauda, he has one of the most insane stories in F1. At the 1976 Nürburgring, he had a crash and the car caught on fire, he was stuck inside. Some of the other drivers stopped to help him and managed to pull him out of the car and get him the help he urgently needed. Most people thought he wouldn't survive this crash, but miraculously he only missed two races and was back on track at the Italian Grand Prix. Nicky Lauda is a three-time world champion with 171 race starts, 25 wins, 54 podiums and 24 pole positions. He has 31 front row starts and scored 420.5 points. Moving on to Jackie Stewart, like all of the other drivers on this list, he also had a great career. He is a three-time world champion with 99 race starts. 42 of them was from the front row. He also got 27 wins, 43 podiums and 16 pole positions. He scored 360 points in F1. The next driver on this list is Nigel Mansell. He started 187 races but only finished 51% of them. He had 56 front row starts, 31 victories, 59 podiums and 32 pole positions. He's a one-time world champion that scored 482 points. Fernando Alonso is the next driver on this list. Like Verstappen and Hamilton, he's still racing so his stats will improve. But right now, Fernando Alonso is He's a two-time world champion with 355 race starts, 38 of them from the front row with 32 wins, 98 podiums and 22 pole positions. He got 74 DNFs and scored 2,061 points in F1. The next driver on this list is Max Verstappen. It's pretty crazy to have a 25-year-old driver on this list and so I up. Max Verstappen is currently on 163 race starts with 42 of them from the front row. He has 35 wins, 76 podiums and 20 pole positions. He has 31 DNFs and is a two-time world champion with 2011.5 points in F1. Moving on to Ayrton Senna. He's a three-time world champion with 161 race starts, 86 front row starts, he got 41 wins, 80 podiums and 65 pole positions. He got 60 DNFs, he's a three-time world champion with 614 points. His big rival Alan Prost is the next driver on this list. He has 199 race starts, 85 front row starts, 51 wins, 106 podiums, 33 pole positions and 59 DNFs. He's a four-time world champion with seven 98.5 points. But just before I continue, if you haven't already, be sure to leave a like and subscribe and tell me in the comment sections what videos you want to see next. Going to Sebastian Vettel with the third most wins in F1. He retired at the end of the season, but he has some records that will stand for a long time. Vettel is a four-time world champion. He scored 3,098 points in F1. He has 299 race starts. 101 of them is from the front row. He has 53 race wins, 122 podiums, 57 pole positions, and 44 DNFs. The next driver is my favorite driver of all time and also the driver I I believe is the best F1 driver of all time, but that's only my opinion. Michael Schumacher, he's a seven-time world champion with 1,566 points. His points won't compare great to Vettel, Verstappen and Hamilton, since when he raced, like many other drivers on this list, a lower point scoring system was used. He has 306 race starts, 91 wins, 155 podiums, 68 pole positions and 67 DNFs. He started on the front row 114 times, and now the Formula 1 driver with the most career wins, Lewis Hamilton. 
Hamilton. Lewis Hamilton is also a seven-time world champion with 4,405.5 points. He has 310 race starts with 174 of them from the front row. He has 103 wins, 103 pole positions and 191 podiums. I also worked out how much points Bastian Vettel, Michael Schumacher and Lewis Hamilton had after the first 200 races. In third place with 2,636 points, we have Sebastian Vettel. Going to P2 with 2,814 points, we have Lewis Hamilton. And in first place, we have Michael Schumacher with 3,103 points. Let me know in the comments down below who you think the best ever F1 driver is and thanks for liking and subscribing.